Hello viewers, welcome to the Chess YouTube channel. Today I will show you a complete guide on how to play the Sicilian Defense Dragon Variation. So stay tuned till the end. White starts with e4, black plays c5, the Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, and d4, white strikes in the center, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, g6. This is the Sicilian defense dragon variation. Black's idea is to put bishop on this long diagonal. After bishop e3, bishop g7 and black gains control of the long dark square diagonal. Here white's idea is to use f3 defensively. This move protects the e4 pawn and takes away g4 square from the black's knight. Black castle short. Queen d2. At some point, white will exchange the dark square bishops. Bishop d7. And white castles queen side. Black develops his knight. And now white can use pawns to attack black's king side. And black will bring the rook into the game to attack the white king. In this position, if white plays bishop e2, then it will be the classical variation. Bishop g7 and white and black castles short. White develops his bishop. Black plays knight c6, offering an exchange of knights. Queen d2, bishop d7. And here white cannot offer an exchange of bishops. Because when queen takes the bishop, white would simply lose his knight. So in this position, white should not accept the trade of knights. Because black will improve his pawn structure. So white plays knight b3 and black centralizes his bishop to control these diagonals. After f4, black plays queen c8 to control g4 square and attack white king side. In this position, if white plays f4, then it's a lemon fish variation. In this variation, white's idea is to chase away the black's knight. After bishop g7, white plays e5 attacking the knight. So knight f to d7 and white continues to push the pawn forward. Now black can get into lots of trouble. So in this position, if black plays knight g4, then there is a hidden trap in this position. White continues with bishop d5 check. I have already covered this trap in my last video. You can check that out by clicking on the card above. Here, black cannot block with the knight. Because knight takes knight, b takes knight, and bishop takes c6 check, forking the king and the rook. So bishop blocks, and white grabs a free knight. Black's bishop cannot move because it is pinned to the king. So in this position, black should play knight c6 before moving the bishop. e5 attacks the knight. d takes e5. Knight takes knight. Queen takes d1 check. Knight takes queen. And black takes the knight. In this way, black ends up in a good position. 
White replies with taking the pawn. Knight g4 attacks the pawn. Bishop f4 defends it. And black plays bishop g7. Black's idea is to use bishop and knight to take back the pawn. After bishop c4, knight takes e5, bishop takes knight, and bishop takes knight. In this endgame, black will try to promote the e pawn. If you enjoyed this video, then like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Here is an interesting puzzle for you all. Find the best continuation for white and share your answer in the comment section below.